guys, what's up? It's Hope, and I'm here to give another Journey to Baby Post VSG Weight Loss Surgery update. I'm currently on our first cycle of fertility medicine, and um, I just wanted to give a quick update because we are officially in our two week wait. Um, for this particular cycle, we actually stair step dosed the fertility medicine. So on cycle day five through nine, uh, we took Famara, and um, just by doing weekly scans, my specialist realized that the Famara was not working at all and so we took Clomid on day 14 through 19 18 cycle day 14 through 18 um, so five days um, it was 50 milligrams and um, we went back I went back in that week for another scan and um, we had a follicle growing it was 17 millimeters and so that was last Thursday and my specialist gave us the go-ahead to trigger on Saturday um, he did give me other instructions like take a baby aspirin it helps blood flow and um, I will start progesterone tomorrow um, and so I'm super excited Excited. Um, we did everything we possibly could to make this round work and so my fingers are crossed I'm just trying to stay really optimistic and really hopeful that this first round will work for us um, the only real difference I'm noticing right now um, is I'm having a lot of cramping and pressure in like my lower stomach on both sides not just on the right side which is where the follicle was but um, it, it just is really, really, really sore and just lots of pressure and just I feel real achy for some reason in my lower stomach. And so I did go ahead and message the nurse and let her know that I'm having a little bit of side effect symptoms, probably from the Ovidrel trigger shot, but I'm not sure. And so I wanted to make sure and ask her if it was normal to be experiencing symptoms like that. Um, I wasn't sure if it was related to ovulation since we are not monitoring this cycle with ovulation predictor kits or OPKs. Um, we just kind of decided to do what we need to do and follow these our specialist instructions and not really obsess about it. Um, and so I'm not doing ovulation predictor kits and we discussed um, over the weekend that we will not be taking a pregnancy test um, until we go back to the doctor and they draw blood and see if I'm pregnant or not. So I just don't want to be on that high low roller coaster and I'm already like I feel like I'm already so emotionally drained from all of this over the last four weeks that um, I don't know I just would rather stay hopeful and stay positive and just pray and pray and pray some more that this worked. Um, but I'm hoping that with the symptoms that I'm having hopefully um, that means that it worked or it is working, um, that I did ovulate, that maybe the egg is trying to find a good place to land. I don't know. <laughs> I know that's not really how it works, but I just keep telling myself that everything's going to be okay and this is going to be it. So I just wanted to thank you all so much for all of your prayers and support. I got a lot of comments on the last video, so I'm really grateful for that. Um, thank you so much for, to everyone who just continues to watch, and um, hopefully I will be able to announce pretty soon that we are pregnant. So fingers crossed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye!